I think probably the, the biggest asset John had was his ability to understand the situation and to make adjustments as we went along. John was one of those kids that was almost like having another coach. His skills as a wrestler were as good as anybody we ever had. John had a lot of focus on, on technique, and I think he was able to show his brothers and all the other wrestlers um, some of the techniques that he had learned over the years. And I think his most important attribute was his continual, endless effort. He's a very, very hardworking guy. Not only in wrestling, he had natural talents, but he was able to take that those natural talents and, and develop those. So I think that was one of his better qualities, his work ethic. You know, I, I had started at St. Bede, so my head is a, two older brothers, uh, two younger brothers. And the plan, I think, was always that I was going to go to St. Lawrence. So I, I didn't even think that I wasn't going to St. Lawrence. I wrestled with one of my older brothers, my brother Bob. I wrestled on the same team with two of my younger brothers. So that alone was just a great experience for me. I've got a great family. I'm very close to them even to this day. I used to come back and, and for the Catholic League Wrestling Championships because all my younger brothers were, were wrestling uh, at that time. And I remember sitting in the stands and, and feeling so proud that not only were my brothers out there in the, um, in the finals, but most of the wrestlers were, were from St. Lawrence in the finals. My finest memory was a very proud moment um, seeing St. Lawrence evolve into a powerhouse wrestling football team. I can think of the 74 conference championships. He was losing four to three with about, oh, maybe 18 seconds to go there on their feet. And John just set him up for a duck under by extending a wrist that the kid took, thinking that would be a safe place to be. And then John, he stuck, took John's other wrist. So now he has both John's wrists in front of him. And John took one fake or deep to one side and went right underneath him on the other side picked him up and took him to the mat in the last five seconds and won the match. It's a picture from Scottsdale Park. Um, John's in the middle, you know, he's probably about six, seven years old. But the um, funny thing is Tom Gauger was actually the, is in that picture on the upper right, which is how things ended up, you know, 40 years later, it's pretty funny. Uh, they were actually on the same team. St. Lawrence, um, being a representative of St. Lawrence at the time I was there, and I do believe this continues to this day, is it's just a great school. It had a great reputation, not just for sports, but for academics and for really a spiritual foundation for developing that in your life. And I think that was something that I look back on even to this day, 40 plus years later and say, you know, it was a great way to actually go through school at a time where you're 14 through 18 years old and really develop you know, relationships um, and, and have just great mentors. I think that the biggest thing for me was you know, that whole thing that was just something that was special. They had a reputation in sports that you know, was, was tremendous. So it was fun being here. We were the, the school at the time and, and I believe uh, we're, we're you know, coming back to that again. But it was my parents for sure. They sacrificed quite a bit for having all of us go through St. Lawrence. It were just, um, it, it, was, it made this place special for me. It really, truly did. And I look back now and realize how special it was. I spoke to John when he moved out west. Uh, he, he, we would contact, I would contact him a few times and he would say, uh, I couldn't call you over the weekend because I was driving the boys to Utah to go to a wrestling tournament. And he said, I was in the car with him and we're on this, obviously a pretty long trip. And he says, I could just remember you driving us to Iowa or Wisconsin or to some other ridiculous location in the middle of the night to wrestle and telling stories and doing things. It was, it was a nice interaction. And he was continuing that for his sons. You know, I, I look back on, on wrestling um, and 
I look back on that experience and say it really was truly um, one of the best things that you know I ever went through. It was something that for me, um, wrestling just is, is kind of just a mirror image of life. You know, you're going to go through ups, you're going to go through downs, and you're going to have to go in and step up and basically figure it out and then get back on the, the mat or jump back into life, you know, and, and, and move through forward so I think wrestling is a wonderful sport for that I think um, in wrestling I think there's always a commitment to hard work you know it, there, there's nobody else to blame or lose and there's basically all the accolades go to you when you win so it's kind of a sport that is very very special and unique because it's a one-on-one -on -one sport so that's the part that I think uh, I would probably stress with any young wrestler work hard commit to the cause basically make sure that you realize that hey, you're out there alone so you know there's no hiding you need to go in and step up every time and uh, do your best please join me in welcoming john kenny the newest member of the st lawrence wrestling hall of fame